Well, nine years, countless reviews, and two administrations, but finally, the Cape Wind Project has the green light from the White House. Interior Secretary Ken Salazar approved the plan for the country's first offshore wind farm that's divided the people of Massachusetts. And as Lee Patrick Sullivan reports, the fight is still not over. Keeping his promise to deliver a Cape Wind decision by the end of April, Secretary of the Interior Ken Salazar traveled to Boston to deliver the news. Cape Wind will be the United States' first offshore wind farm, supplying clean power to homes and businesses in Massachusetts while creating good jobs here in America. The Cape Wind project will cost upwards of a billion dollars to build. The German company Siemens will build the offshore wind farm and has promised to open up facilities to build and test wind turbines in Massachusetts. America needs offshore wind power and with this project, Massachusetts will lead the nation. The Cape Wind project has divided the residents of Massachusetts, with opponents saying the turbines would be an eyesore for an area that relies heavily on tourism. Detractors also say the only financial benefits will go to the wind farm developers. Local Native American nations say the wind farm will interfere with their sacred sunrise rituals, which require an unobstructed view. We need wind power, not that. Even some environmentalists, like the Kennedy family, have spoken out against Cape Wind. The reason I'm not supporting it is because it's going to put out of business every fish, commercial fisherman on, on Cape Cod. We have on the Cape one of the oldest commercial fisheries in North America. It's 350 years old. Many of the communities on Cape Cod, like Chatham, like Menensha, like Hyannis, are really their, their, their tourism industry, their culture is based upon the commercial fishery. The developers of Cape Wind will alter their original plans. The number of turbines will be slashed from 170 to 130. They will also have to be spaced farther apart, and more studies will have to be done to see if Native American artifacts may be sitting on the bed of the Cape. Salazar also said nine years was an unreasonable length of time for an offshore project to wait to get approved. He vowed to streamline the process for future offshore wind farms. This will be the first of many projects up and down the Atlantic coast, which I expect will come online in the years ahead as we build a new energy future for our country. The folks over at Cape Wind have spent more than $45 million trying to get this project off the ground, and it looks like they're going to have to spend some more. Opponents say they're taking this decision to court. In Washington, Lee Patrick Sullivan, Clean Skies News.